It turned out to be a gorgeous day around town, and that's going to continue into the evening hours. Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher. Thanks for checking in on your evening weather update here on this Saturday, August 10th. Can you believe the month is cruising right along? And it's a perfect night for a Saturday night fire pit. Take a look at this evening forecast. I mean, just gorgeous. As we get into the 6 o'clock hour, we'll be right around 85, dropping down into the uh, upper 70s to low 80s anyways as we get into 8, 9 o'clock hours tonight. And by 10 o'clock, we're down to about 73 degrees. So fantastic weather for sure. Now, overnight tonight, those dew point numbers, the amount of moisture in the atmosphere is going to slowly climb down or fall just a little bit. Not a ton, but just a little bit, which is going to make our morning lows on Sunday just amazing. So if you're heading off to church early in the morning, outdoor activities, we're talking low temperatures in the 50s and 60s. That is going to feel refreshing. That's what I was saying. Just open your windows or early in the morning on Sunday. It's going to feel amazing for sure. So we'll start off in the 50s and 60s to get the day started. As we get into the lunch hour, we'll see those temperatures climb into the upper 70s. So not a, a, like a nice lunch hour. I mean, great to have brunch outside in some of the patios that we have around town. This is a little taste of fall, if you will. And temperatures will fall just a little bit more on Sunday than what we experienced throughout the day today. Therefore, the heat stress goes down. We'll have lots of sunshine but we're not going to have to deal with a heat index value or anything like that. So amazing weather on Sunday and into the evening hours as we wrap up the weekend, we'll see those temperatures in the 70s and low to mid 80s. And again, no heat index value expected. Now, as we get into our Monday, Tuesday, temperatures will be around average or slightly below. Plenty of sunshine and quiet, dry weather conditions. Thanks to high pressure building in behind the cold front that pushed Debbie to our north and northeast. So here comes the drier air settling on in for our Sunday. It's going to be with us on Monday and Tuesday, but then those dew points will gradually climb as we get into the latter part of next week, and that's going to lead to a little bit more of a heat index value. We're adding more moisture to the atmosphere, so that's going to lead to, well, elevated rain chances. So as we get into our Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next week, we are looking at elevated rain chances to creep their way back in. Actually, when you look at the climate, uh, the weather prediction center, through Monday, we're dry across the state. Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll start to see those rain showers set up shop and start to work on in. Not necessarily for us here on Wednesday, but Thursday, Friday, some decent amount of rain is being predicted by the uh, Weather Prediction Center. So something to kind of keep in mind as we wrap up the week. Now, temperatures will be around average all week long, but heat index values will start to creep in just a little bit thanks to that dew point and the humidity starting to creep back in as well. So elevated rain chances by the end of the week. We're talking about elevated heat index values a little bit, but... Really, all in all, when you look at the grand scheme of things through the middle and latter part of the month, we may be trending right around average for this time of year, which is in the upper 80s anyways. So before you head off to bed, check back in once again as we'll have your next weather update coming up at 9 o'clock tonight. You can always check in with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a free app download, by the way. Just go to your app store and search East TN Weather, all one word. Look for the orange TM and the white lightning bolt. We sure hope you have a great evening. We'll see you back here soon.